So we have this amazing simulator behind me here, all the screens, everything, everything should be working. But no, there's one problem. The wiring needs a complete redo. So without further say, let's get dismantling this and get it working better. While we are dismantling the simulator, let me tell a little bit what I'm doing right here. So I am soldering the power delivery board made by PA Simulations. This is our company and we have done this for, for example, simulator users, but it can be used for everyone else too. This is our Arduino breakout board, which will introduce you screw terminals to make your life more easy with your projects. And am I seeing this correctly? Are we ready to move to the next phase? There it is. Everything is removed, screens all packed up, sidewalls gone. And the only thing left to do is move this a little bit on this side so we can access the back side and do the rewiring with our custom PCBs. So let's go ahead and do that right now. <laughs> And there it is, now just about 20 centimeters this way, and we can access the back, and you can see how it looks here. It's very spacious compared to the yeah. last time you saw it here. Yep, it's quite a mess in here, we're gonna clean this up, but uh, we'll not really talk about that later. All of this wiring ball here should disappear today, uh, and we'll have the PCB in, instead. That took us like, I think, like about 15 minutes yep. or so, so it was well, really fast to do. Yeah, very, very easy to solder, very simple assembly, but a very useful tool for organizing that wire mess there. It is now finished, uh, it took like uh, 45 minutes probably. Yep. Uh, it was so good. Yeah, keep in mind we didn't do all of the RC filters yet. Uh, that one. Yeah, we are experimenting with this uh, size, these sizes of this components, but I think this looks really beautiful actually. Yes, the layout is pretty nice, and yeah, I hope it works as it should, and it will. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's quite quite simple in the tracing compared to some of our other PCBs, like the MCP. Basically, all those cables gonna get in here. This one goes somewhere over here maybe. And cables just go here. Yeah. We'll do a time lapse of this as well. Or just do it off camera. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we did that part off camera. But now it's the perfect time to be our sponsor, PCB Way. PCB Way is a parts manufacturer who provides custom PCBs, CNC parts and many other services to hobbyists and companies alike. Their simple instant quote tool gives you a really precise price estimate even before ordering and their customer service is super helpful. One thing I personally love about PCBWay's website is their 24-hour production status transparency. They will update your product's manufacturing status live and you can see exactly how your order is progressing. Their cheap prices and fast services are definitely worth checking out and you can do that by clicking the first link down in the description. Now back to the video. And finally the interface board and all of the DU and middle displays are installed here and wired up. Don't mind the mess, yet it's still work in progress. Yeah, but it took us a little bit longer than we anticipated. Uh, not because uh, it was hard to do, because <laughs> some complications. But yeah, the USB cables, all of those things for the middle screen finally arrived. Uh, we got those installed. Uh, the interface card was quickly uh, finished. We probably spent like one and a half days doing it. Maybe less. Yeah. It was really, really quick. Uh, we tested the RC filters and here are the results. They work excellently. And all LEDs and inputs otherwise also work flawlessly. We have had not a single problem so far, I think. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything is working fantastically. Uh, only thing missing from the MIP and the backside here are the chronos and backlighting. And we'll get back to those in another episode. But for now, we are just gonna uh, do some test flying and seeing that everything operates uh, optimally. Uh, here you can see our two uh, PCs. We have our sound system sort of set up, all five screens, and these three screens. Everything should be working. So I think we're gonna be hopping into the captain and first of your seats. 
And we'll get flying. Parking brake, release, throttle. Full. And as you can see, we have so amazing views right now from the cockpit. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly 180 degrees, so it's such a nice. Any notes. Yeah, I didn't. I can't really concentrate because I have to film and everything. Yeah. Oh, trim is so bad. Right. Oh my God! Yeah, Can you trim, please? We're gonna fall. Uh, I think it was lagged out. Might have been. Yeah. No, can't be. No, no. Yeah, there's some trim, trim issues occasionally, but uh, we are working on those. There's just a software side problem today. Zero. And as you can see, the response is very great. Yeah, and please. it doesn't lag at all. Yeah, I show you my yoke here. And pull up, pulls up immediately. Turn, turns immediately. And another side. It's really responsive and really nice to fly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But I think we're gonna do some landings and etc. And we might or might not film those. So we'll show you how this works. No flaps. Give enough. Yeah. Give as much flaps as you can according to speed. You're coming in very fast right now. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, that's good. That's good. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna hurt. Controls. All right. Hand flaps are off. Yes. Yep. 